Welcome back to the Making the Madness YouTube channel. It's Sean back again to discuss some more transfer-related news. This time, it's East Carolina star Jaden Gardner heading to Virginia to play for Tony Bennett next season. And that is a big-time addition. Gardner is one of the top players in the portal. He's been fantastic for Joe Dooley at East Carolina the past few years. He had 18.3 points per game last year, 19.7 as a sophomore and as a freshman, 16.3. He has scored over 1,400 points in his career. He is super strong inside, 6'7, 235 pounds, is lethal from the mid range and elbow jump shots, and he can really, really back you down inside. He's only 6'7, which is kind of small for a 4 slash 5 these days, but he can really get you down there using his size and strength. He's a tough guy to defend, and I think he has potential to develop a jumper. He shot 75% uh, throughout his career from the free throw line, pretty much, or about 74 actually, but he's a guy that can definitely have a huge season for Virginia. I think he's going to improve on the defensive end, because that's what happens when you play for Tony Bennett. You're going to improve on defense, and he's going to be a tough guy late in those shot clock situations to defend, because if he gets the ball from 15 feet, he can hit it, and he can hit, and he can hit shots inside. With likely losing Jay Huff, this is going to be a huge addition. I don't envision Huff using utilizing the free year, so I think that Gardner is going to play a pivotal role for T Tony Bennett this season. You also lose Sam Hauser, you lose Casey Morsell, you lose Justin McCoy, you lose Tomas Tensai, you lose a lot of guys from last season, but that's not the worst thing. Obviously, losing Hauser and Huff hurts quite a bit. Uh, you're going to lose Casey Morsell, he went to NC State, Justin McCoy went to North Carolina, obviously two uh, interconference rivals, but those are two additions you can kind of get over. What I think Virginia is in dire need of, though, is a guard that can create a shot off the dribble for himself. I think Reese Beekman has potential to do that, but you need a guy like Ty Jerome, Kyle Guy, London Parentes, Malcolm Brogdon. You need that kind of guy. Kihei Clark's a talented defender. He can really pass the ball, but he is not a guy that can create a shot for himself, especially from the perimeter. He really struggles from deep, and he doesn't shoot a ton of them. You know, he can get a little, a little turnover happy at times. I think E.A. Clark's a good player, but I really think Virginia would definitely benefit from adding a guard like Mac McClung that's able to create for himself and get jump shots because in late-game situations, they just didn't have a guy that could get shots, and we saw that become a major problem. And, you know, other guys that could leave is Trey Murphy. He hasn't announced if he's testing the waters or not, but he's most certainly an NBA prospect due to his six foot nine frame and ability to shoot it at close to 50% from deep this season. I think he's going to be, you know, a guy that tests the waters, depending on how he does in workouts and whatnot, he could come back. I don't think he's back, but we'll certainly see what happens there. So there's definitely a lot of changes for Tony Bennett next season. You also lose uh, Jabri Abdurrahim who is the son of Sharif Abdurrahim, obviously, or maybe not obviously, but obviously longtime NBA player Sharif Abdurrahim was a very good college player at California, and Jabri decided to transfer to Georgia today, so that's another one that's out of the fold. You also add Armand Franklin, who's going to be a big-time player next year. You also add a four-star recruit in Tane Murray. I think he has pretty high potential. He's a guard. But you really need more depth and you need more guards on the team. I envision they're going to continue to be fairly active in the portal because they only right now they have four, they have eight scholarships, ten scholarships filled. And so they have three spots left after getting Jaden Gardner. We'll see what happens with a guy like Cody Statman. He missed most of this season with injury. Let's see if he returns next season. So it could be four guys that end up. Uh, being needed to add to the roster but getting two key transfers like Armand Franklin and Jaden Gardner that's a great start and they're going to continue to get guys maybe maybe a guard maybe another big man which would be pretty ideal I think that they're certainly going to continue to be active I think Virginia is going to be like all Virginia teams they're going to be really good next season but they need to have scorers who can get buckets at the end of the game like we saw in the year they did get over the hump to win the national championship Ty Jerome Kyle Guy DeAndre Hunter those three were massive and I think they're going to need that kind of guy this season thanks for checking out the video make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy have a great day